when I can't use electricity, what do I do? Do I just sit around and read a book? <laughs> like what? <laughs> I wanna be on Instagram. <laughs> Can you live on zero emissions? If so, how would life be? To live on zero emissions is to drastically change my lifestyle to reduce the amount of carbon I emit from every aspect of my day. From the food I eat, to the energy I consume, to the waste I produce, my means of transportation, and the very products I buy, at least to a very minimal level. Now the reality is no one can live completely on zero emissions because my very being, my very existence is creating emissions. The heat radiating from my body, the CO2 coming from my breath, the gas I pass and other excretions, to mention a few. So the idea of this really is to find ways to reduce the amount of emissions we create in all the different aspects of our everyday lives, which means no electricity. Now, no electricity means no heater, no cooking, no washing, no TV, no phones, no laptops, no internet, nothing. No hot water. <laughs> this is gonna be an interesting <laughs> challenge. All right, so right off the bat, in the first few minutes, I've noticed a lot of unconscious habits that I have that I'm not even aware of. Like just walking into a room and turning on the light. Now, whether or not I need the light is debatable, but it comes almost automatic. I just walk in and I turn on the light. That, that's what I'm supposed to do. So that I'm definitely gonna have to be more conscious of and try to change. Another thing is brushing my teeth. I use unnecessary amount of water that I don't actually need. So I put more water than I brush, put more water brush, and then I've got like a nice amount of lather going on in my mouth. Then I actually go on to brush. And then after that, I rinse quite a few times as well, which is a bit unnecessary. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna retake my whole morning routine. This isn't my whole morning routine, but the first few minutes I've already failed this challenge. So we're gonna redo this in a eco-friendly, zero emissions way and see if it works or how it works. Right, so the idea now is I'm living more consciously, which makes me more aware of the amount of wastage and emissions that I use. Like walking into the bathroom, do I need the light on? Not necessarily, there's enough natural light coming in. It is a little bit dark and it is a little bit um, uncomfortable, but in the grand scheme of saving emissions and saving the planet and reducing my my waist, I think it's not so bad. I still find myself at times where I'll just leave the tap running whilst I was doing something else. So it's almost a habit that I'm so used to, I'm gonna have to undo with conscious awareness or just being more conscious about it and being more intentional about wanting to waste less. And then over time, it kind of like sorts itself out. Breakfast. Now breakfast on zero emissions unfortunately means I can't cook. No electricity, no gas, no means for me to heat up my food. Which leaves me with not a lot of options. I can make bread and jam, I can have cereal, which isn't bad. But ideally for breakfast you want a nice warm hearty meal, don't you? Well luckily for me, I prepared for this last night. This is a no cook method of making oatmeal where you soak the raw oats with milk or water. The soaking process allows the oats to absorb the liquid and soften them enough to eat uncooked. The next morning, you have ready to eat delicious oatmeal. This is overnight oats. Now I've never made this before, so this is an experience for myself. To me, it still kind of looks a little bit raw but I followed the recipe to the T and it should be good to eat. All right, that was delicious. So now after breakfast, I would usually head to the gym for a workout. The only problem being the building itself 
uses a lot of electricity. Now there are other alternatives like using outdoor gyms or just working out in the house. But in the gym, right? I feel like a lot of the equipments in the gym don't actually require electricity. It's just the gym itself, the establishment that uses electricity. So what I'll probably have to do today is either work out in the house or find an outdoor gym. Cycling is one of the simplest ways to reduce our carbon emission. The carbon footprint of cycling per mile is around 33 grams of CO2. This is 30 times less than that of a fossil fuel car and even less than walking or public transportation, which sounds a bit weird, doesn't it? And that's about it for a workout. Now, the tricky bit <laughs> is I need to take a shower but I can't heat up the water. So the heating of the water is one way of um, using up emissions. And the water itself, the amount of water being wasted is another way of using up emissions. So today we're not focusing on the amount of water, <laughs> we're just focusing on the heat being created or the electricity being used. So I can definitely have a cold shower, right? That seems like the only solution here. Um, I don't fancy it very much, but what else can you do, eh? Now, one thing I'm noticing throughout this day is the house is very quiet and dark without electricity. Obviously, I've bumped up the, the lights on this camera, but if you're here, it's really like, dark and quiet and I wonder how it would look um, throughout the day especially in the evening or at night when I can't use electricity what do I do do I just sit around and read a book <laughs> like what <laughs> I want to be on Instagram <laughs> now before I continue on this challenge we'll take a minute to thank the sponsor of this video Asa if you're looking for a sustainably made laptop the Asa Vero Chromebook is designed specifically for that They've released a new Chromebook that's been designed to embrace the spirit of sustainability. This Chromebook is made for people who are ecologically conscious but are also looking for an affordable and powerful device to use for work and their day-to-day -day life. It's made with recycled plastic, can you believe it? So it uses 30% PCR2 plastic in its chassis and screen bezel and 50% in its keycaps and audio speakers. So this completely pioneers a solution with full PCR integration into a laptop. It's been designed to be long lasting and upgradable and easily repairable. Happy days. And even the packaging it came in is made from recycled paper cards and neutral fibers and designed to be reused as a laptop stand. Yes, please. So click the link in the description to find out more. Immediately again, I go to turn on the light. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to take a shower in the dark. A cold shower in the dark. <laughs> a 10 minute shower with a standard shower head uses about 80 gallons of water and is responsible for producing about four pounds of CO2. So reducing a shower to five minutes can go a long way. The beauty about cold water <laughs> is you don't wanna stay in there too long anyways. <laughs> Oh my lord. All right, lunch. <clears throat> now, I managed to make breakfast without creating any emissions, but now how do I have lunch without creating any emissions? I can either look for foods that I can eat without cooking, which wouldn't be the most substantial. So what I think I'm going to do is call a friend and see if I can share in his emissions. So I'll see if he's had lunch yet. If he hasn't, I'll go over there and have lunch with him. That way, I'm free. Hey, I'm filming a video where I'm living on zero emissions, right? So I need to have lunch without cooking my own food. So I need to find someone that's cooking food, right? And then share their energy use and energy consumption. So it's not on me. Okay, so you're making lunch, so I have lunch at yours. Yeah, just come here. I'll make it right now. Okay, nice one. All right, cool. Yeah, 
Yeah. I called a friend. He said he hasn't had lunch yet. So right now I'm gonna head over. Let's go. You don't no. get trained, you just rode a bike. No, I just rode. What the? Okay, I have arrived. It's going a bit late. Um, as you can see, the room is well lit with emissions. So I'll be sharing in his emissions to create my lunch. And then after that, I'll see how the rest of the day goes. All right, my stomach is full, I'm happy. Mate, thank you so much for letting me use your electricity. No problem, man. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> now the thought of living on zero emissions can be overwhelming, but change is a gradual process. And the more we take a step in that direction, the more achievable it becomes, as little decisions we make have a great impact on the environment. All right, guys, so we are back at home. The place is completely pitch dark and you can't see me. I am going to continue the video <laughs> because we need to see this video through. This part of the video is a bit ridiculous because how can I, how can I survive or how can I live on zero emissions at night? If I had a candle, candle creates emissions. If I had a torch, probably uses batteries which eventually gets wasted to create emissions. Everything creates emissions. So it's more or less about finding ways to reduce the amount of emissions that we create. And here we are. <clears throat> it's been a fun video. Um, I was hoping to do a lot more than what I've done today. But I hope this has shed a light or given you some insight into ways that you can reduce the amount of energy consumption and the amount of emissions that you create in your daily lives. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification, share with all your friends. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. <clears throat> OPS, we have a whole series on how to eat sustainably, how to shop sustainably, how to live sustainably, um, coming out in over the next few days. So should be fun. Have a good one. Peace.